All right, in this quick video lesson, we're going to take a look at creating a box and whisker plot. A box and whisker plot is a graphical representation of data that is collected. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the minimum, the maximum, the median, the lower quartile, and the upper quartile as represented uh, in a graph. All right, so first we need to get data. In this case, we are going to look at uh, the responses by 24 season ticket holders when they were asked of the 50 season the 50 game season how many games were you able to attend using your season ticket so take a look at that data you see not many people made it out to the games um, well these people didn't make it out to the games very often and anyway we've got the data collected you know as as we asked people jotted it down if you remember what we're looking for we're looking for a minimum a maximum and a median those are probably the most familiar terms to you at this moment and um, what they might make you think of is the need to place that data in order so that's what we're gonna do now here comes a, a something to think about whenever you rewrite data and in this case we're rewriting it in order you wanna make sure that you don't add or miss any data points so always when you rewrite data uh, recount all the data that you have compare it to the original data make sure uh, nothing new is there and nothing is lost alrighty so now we have it in order now you, you want to create a number line this is where we're going to graph the box and whisker plot we're actually gonna graph it above the number line if at any point you need to pause the video uh, to go ahead and write this down take notes um, actually follow along with us with this particular data set please do so pause the video I'm going pretty quick so we need this number line uh, you can choose a scale that you feel is appropriate I went ahead and chose from 0 to 20 um, anticipating maybe having to graph another box and whisker plot on this uh, so actually 20 could have been extended a little bit but we'll go ahead and use what we've got there uh, the data is rewritten below in order so we want to take a look at the the quick ones we want to take a look at the minimum easy one to find it's at the beginning of our data set it's the smallest one we want to graph it after we find the minimum you might uh, anticipate yes finding the maximum so there it is 18 we want to graph it notice I'm graphing above the number line um, you'll often see box and whisker plots graphed in this way and next we need to find the median now the median isn't uh, as easy as observing the beginning or the end of our data set here we need to actually go through a process of finding the middle number so uh, <coughs> you may have been instructed in the past to go ahead and start counting from the uh, minimum and from the maximum and marking off as you go in towards the center and we're gonna go ahead and do something like that right now uh, you may have also been given some mathematical uh, ways some computational ways excuse me of finding the median in this case there were 24 data points we know that's an even number so it's uh, when divided by 2 we'll find that it's 12 and you may notice on the left there are 12 data points as well as on the right unfortunately we have two data points in the middle and a median is a single number not a pair of numbers so what do we do with two data points in the middle well we find their average or add them up and divide by two same mathematical process and we find 15 plus 15 divided by 2 is wow 15 graph it alright now finding the lower quartile and the upper quartile is gonna be done in very much the same fashion we're gonna go ahead and start from the beginning of our uh, of the first half the lower half on the left hand side and the end of the lower half on the left hand side and start counting towards the middle now if you're thinking in your head hey wait that's 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 yes we're gonna have six points on the left and six points on the right which means again we've got two data points shared in the middle same process add them up divide by 2 in this case we get a number that is not part of our data set and that is 12.5 that is a lower quartile we graph it maybe looking ahead and seeing we are going to do the same exact thing for the upper quartile and look we are get the same situation two shared data points in the middle add them up divide by two now you may even notice down there at the bottom it looks like we've divided our data point up into kind of equal divisions here right we've divided it up into fourths and that's exactly what these quartiles represent as well as the median the median represents the first half um, 
of the of the data points the smaller half at the beginning the larger half at the end and the quartiles again divide those halves into two and anytime you you cut a pie in half and then cut those halves again you end up with quarters okay in this case you'll notice that word quartile is very similar to quarters what we found our upper quartile we didn't graph it there it is okay now it's time to uh, go ahead and complete our graph because now we have graphed the five number summary however we have not created a box and whisker plot and in order to do that we need to connect our lower quartile as well as our upper quartile with a box and in this case our median is a different number than our lower and upper quartile that may not always be the case whenever you get a maybe a large data set where a number repeats itself over many many instances you may actually run into a case where the median and the upper quartile are the same number or the median and lower quartile are the same number or even your minimum in your lower quartile or your maximum in your upper quartile when you get a long string of the same numbers over and over again uh, some of those lines may actually be the same data point okay in this case it's not and we have our median of 15 right there in the middle of the box and now it's time to graph the whiskers and that's simply connecting the edges of the box to the minimum and the maximum there we go now this is uh, it, this video's intent was to show you how to graph a box and whisker plot and find our five number summary it's uh, not to, uh, a video on how to analyze it that is a that's another task so hopefully this helped along the way um, if you were doing it along with us I hope you found some success and uh, enjoy the rest of your day and graphing even more box and whisker plots have a good one